okay students good evening to all so now today we are going to discuss nuclei so nuclei or nuclear physics see the study of nucleus and its constituent particles is called as nuclear physics imagine this is an atom and electrons are revolving in circular orbits in the atom and also the central part of an atom is called as nucleus imagine this is central part central part and it is highly dense see that is called as nucleus nucleus having protons and neutrons protons and neutrons are termed as nucleons is it clear and uh, proton number is z and uh, neutron number is n is it clear z plus n is collectively called as mass number is it clear z what is a a is the mass number see the sum of the sum of protons and neutrons is called as mass number mass number z plus n is it clear what is a a is the mass number a is the mass number imagine so this is a nuclear is it clear for example this is called as a nuclear nucleus so nucleus we are writing in the top of the nuclei that is mass number and uh, in the bottom that is proton number see proton number number of electrons exist in the atom that much protons are exist in the nucleus for example if you consider hydrogen atom it has one proton and one electron if you consider helium atom it has two protons in the nucleus two electrons outside the nucleus if you consider lithium it has three protons inside the nucleus and three electrons outside the nucleus so the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons is it clear i hope you all understand this one please note this one we will discuss next part see first of all we have to discuss isotopes isobars isotopes first of all let us come to the point isotopes see a nuclei this is x is a nuclei a nuclei having same proton number but different mass number is called as a nuclei a nuclei having same proton number but different atomic number different mass number is called as isotopes a nuclei having same atomic number of proton number atomic number atomic number and having different mass number having different mass number is called as isotopes example example hydrogen if you consider hydrogen it has atomic number 1 and its mass number 1 this is hydrogen atom and uh, this is called as deuteron see in this case atomic number is same but mass number is different is it clear likewise see carbon 6 and 12 and the carbon 6 and 13 see here atomic number is same but mass number is different so atomic number is same and mass number is different is called as isotopes is it clear right next see this is different what i wrote up 
that is different. What I round up here, that is different. See? Next, isopars. And next, just opposite to this one. See, a nuclei having a nuclei. Having same mass number, but having different, different atomic number, atomic number is called as isobars. This is called as isobars. Example, let me give you an example. Example. For example, if you consider carbon 13 and its atomic number 6 and uh, nitrogen 7, 13. See, <coughs> here the mass number is same. See, in nuclei having same mass number, same mass number but having different atomic number. See, this is, this is the different atomic number, but the mass number is same. That is called as, that is called as isobars. And also, let me give you an example. Oxygen, 8 and 15. Nitrogen, 7 and 15. So this is the best example of isobars. Now, now, isotones. This is Z and uh, this is A and also we can write Z and uh, Z plus N. Is it clear? Or in this one? So a nuclei having a nuclei A nuclei having same neutral number. A nuclei having same neutral number. Yes. A nuclei having same neutral number, whatever the atomic numbers is called as isotopes. Is called as is called Isotones. A nuclei having same neutron number, same neutron number is called as isotones. Example. Example. See, calcium atomic number 19 and it has 39 mass number. And calcium atomic, <coughs> atomic number 20 and it has mass number 40. So, if you note that, see, in this case, how many neutrons are there? So this is the proton number, 39 minus 19, 20. Neutrons is equal to 20 neutrons. Is it clear? 39 minus 19, 20 neutrons are there. And also, 40 minus 20, 20 neutrons are there. See, potassium is different from calcium. These two are different elements. It has a different mass and also, different atomic number but in this case it has the same neutron number it has same neutron number are you all getting this one let me explain again calcium atomic number is 19 and uh, potassium atomic number is 19 and calcium atomic number is 20 these two are different elements and also different atomic number and also different mass number but what is the specification out of these two Elements, the neutron number is the same. 39 minus 19 is 20, and also 40 minus 20 is also 20. That is the significance of isotones. Is it clear? I hope you all understand this one. And also, the last word one is there isomers. A nuclei having same proton number, neutron number, mass number, but different physical properties is called as isomers. Isomers means properties are different. The physical properties are different. Whatever the mass number and atomic number are same. Is it clear? That is isomers. So please note this one. Okay students. 
let us uh, discuss from the beginning atomic mass unit so 1 am u 1 am u is equal to 1 atomic mass unit that is the standard international unit especially to measure the nuclear mass and its binding energy see we will discuss uh, in next classes what is binding energy what is nuclear mass what is proton mass we will discuss one by one no need to worry see first of all 1 am u is equal to 1 atomic mass unit 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 kg and uh, it was taken from the carbon isotope 1 by 12th value because carbon has carbon has atomic number 6 and mass number 12 so it has four nucleons that's why we are considering one nuclear mass as a standard international unit that is called as especially in nuclear physics that is called as atomic mass unit is it clear now let us come to the point einstein equation einstein mass energy equals mass energy equivalence relation Equivalence relation relation e is equal to m c square. So just if you put one atomic mass unit here, e is equal to one a m u into c square, and c is equal to three into ten power. 8 meter per second when c is the velocity of light if you put here 1 amu that is equal to 1.66 into 10 power minus 27 into c square means 9 into n power 16 it is in joules joules if you convert joule into electron volt then this is Becomes 931.5 mega electron volt. Is it clear? Mega electron volt. What is E? E is equal to m c square, which means one atomic mass unit into c square is equal to 931.5 mega electron volt. But if you want to calculate one atomic mass unit, why is equal to 931.5 by c square. This is c square. It comes this way by mega electron volt by c square. This is the one atomic mass unit in terms of mega electron volt per c square. And also, I can write here one conversion that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Joules, what are what are one joule is equal to one by one point six into ten power nineteen electron volts. Is it clear? So please note this one. Thank you. Okay, students. Let us uh, know mass of electron. So mass of electron m e is equal to 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg. If we want to convert this mass into atomic mass unit, that is equal to 0.000549 units. In terms of am, see which means One a m u is equal to one unit. If we consider one a m u is equal to one unit, that means zero point zero zero five four nine units or atomic mass units. Or if you want to convert by substituting e is equal to m c square, then it takes value zero point five one one mega electron volt per c. Is it clear? So these are the values of mass of electron. Next, mass of the proton. Mass of proton. So M P is equal to 1.66 into 
that is known as mass defect that is known as mass defect see delta r you have to calculate delta r delta r is the mass defect mass defect so delta r see in the nucleus protons are exist z protons are exist what is the mass of the proton m n m p is it clear so that is equal to z mass of protons z mass of protons plus it has also neutron neutron capital n is the neutron and each mass of the neutron is m n so n into m n z mass of protons n mass of neutrons z mass of protons plus n mass of neutrons minus mass of the nucleus mass of the nucleus or capital m capital is it clear mass of the nucleus is called as mass defect so the sum of individual masses of the nucleus minus actual mass of the nucleus is called as mass defect let me say again the sum of all individual nucleons in the nucleus minus actual mass of the nucleus is called as mass defect or you can write it is in the form see we know that n is equal to a minus z n is equal to a minus z if you don't know how many neutrons are there in the nucleus then you can use this for like terms of mass number and atomic number so that is equal to z mass of protons plus what is l a minus z a minus z into m n minus capital m is it clear this is the formula calculate the mass defect in the nucleus is it clear please note this one okay students by the way so this is the last topic uh, today this is the last topic and uh, after that we will go to the nuclear reactor question nuclear reactor is the most most important question from this chapter so now we are going to discuss binding energy see the minimum energy required to break the nucleus into its constituent particles the minimum energy required to break this is nucleus to break nucleus into its constituent particles is called as binding energy the minimum energy or nuclear energy the minimum energy required 